everyone. Welcome to this short video on how to create a slideshow of photos and place it on your Google site. In the past, that used to be done with Picasa. Now we're going to be using a Google Plus to do this. So let's get started. I'm going to move over to my Google account. And in my Google account at the top black bar, I should find on the far left uh, my Plus account. So I'm going to go into my Google Plus account. On the left hand side, we do have a number of icons and we're looking for photos. So we're going to go into our photos. This is where Google wants you to put all your photos now instead of working with Picasso Web. So I'm going to click on albums and you'll see that I have a number of albums up there already. Over on the right hand side, I'm going to upload new photos to create a new album. So let's go ahead and do that. Defaults with the date, but I'm going to call this a test upload. I could also add to an existing album if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and get some photos. I can either drag them to this area or navigate to my desktop or any part of my computer to find those photos, whether I'm on a Mac or a PC. The question is, where are the photos? Well, in this case, I have them on my desktop in a folder. I'm going to select those photos and I'm going to click on open and it's going to start to upload those photos into the cloud. Depending on the size of the photos, or the number of photos, or the time it takes to do this will vary from person to person. And so you can see it's bringing up those images. And if I move my cursor over the image, I can actually do a little bit right now by rotating the image, editing it, or possibly deleting it. But once all my pictures are up, I can either upload more or I can create the album. So let's create the album. So hang on one second, we're looking for people. Well, this is the tagging part of photos and it will try to tag with other photos. I'm gonna skip the tagging and now it has uploaded my album. I get a chance to put a comment in here. I can even share it with people uh, in my Google Plus, my circles or whatever group that I would want. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna click on cancel. And so now that new album has been added to my list of albums. What can I do with that album? Well, let's click on it. And now we can bring this up in the editing mode. And you can see over on the left hand side its visibility. So I'm going to click on that and to change it from only me, we're going to uh, share via a link. There we go. So that's done. And I'm going to click on save. I could send people that link and they'll go directly to my slideshow if you want, but I'm just going to turn it on for right now. So right now we have limited visibility of that album. Over here, I can continue to add folders. I can start up a slideshow right here and show it, or I can go to more. And under more, I can do a number of things with this album. And one in particular that people will want to do is to organize the album. So I'll click on organize. So I can actually change the order of these photos and maybe instead of this shot being first, I want this shot right here to be first. So I can grab both of those or move them over. Click on this guy, click on this guy. There we go, unselect, there we go. Yeah, I move that over and now that would be the first picture that shows in my slideshow. And of course, a number of other things I can do in here as well, but we're not gonna get that detailed today. I'm going to click on Done Organizing. Now, we're actually ready to put this slideshow onto my Google site now that we have unlocked it in this area here. So let me go to a Google site. Here's my awesome sandbox. And let's put it right on here. I'm going to edit this page in my Google site and place my cursor where I want that slideshow to go. I go to Insert. And it still says Picasso Web Slideshow, but that's the one we're going to select until they change it to Google+. And it's going to go up to all the albums that exist in my Google+. And here's that test upload. Here's a few more that exist up there. So I'm going to select it and click the Select button. Now I do get a couple of little things I can play with here in terms of the size of the slideshow on your site. You can play with this. You can always come back to it. I'm going to pick large. You can have the autoplay turned on or show captions turned on. I'm going to turn both of those off for right now and let the user decide to do that and click save. Now we're not seeing it yet because we haven't saved our page, but we do have a number of tools down here. We can select the centering tool. We can do the text wrap. We can remove it 
And we can get back to the properties and change some things if we want to. So let's go ahead and turn, uh, save this page and see what we've got. There we go. So now we have that slideshow that we just uploaded and we can move throughout the various pictures of that slideshow. Also, your users can click directly on that and they will go to that slideshow online and they can actually look at these pictures online and they can, they can actually download this particular picture if you give them rights to do so. All right. Well, hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.